What's up Lead Generation Nation? I'm JMac, and today I will be showing you how I extract data from various social platforms in order to utilize it for generating leads for clients or companies I might be working with. So let's dive into it. So first of all, you want to go into Google. Um, I'm going to go into Phantom Buster. You want to install the Chrome extension um, as we're going to need this to get our cookies. So I think we'll just get on that, install Add to Chrome extension. Uh, yeah, I'll turn on the sync. Okay. And whatever. Okay. So once you install the extension, which should be here I'll just put it to the top here we want to go ahead and log in i'm already logged in um yeah so so what phantom buster is it's basically an automation software for scraping and obviously in the few more tutorials coming i'll show you how technical it actually gets we take this and we insert it into bots chatbots and chat back to prospective clients and that without you even knowing about it. Um, so yeah, so today's one we're going to be extracting Facebook group. We want to go down to Facebook. And we want to go to this one, the Facebook group extractor. Um, Thought it would be a cool one to do with you guys. It's very valuable. And then we want to get our session cookies. We want to connect. So this is where the plugin comes in. You want to connect this to your Facebook with the plugin. Just see if this is working. Yeah, it seems to be. Connect to Facebook. Going to probably have to block this out. <laughs> okay. So we connect it to Facebook. Number of members to collect per group. If none, we'll scrape them all. Let's let's go crazy. Let's scrape. Well, let's not go crazy. Let's scrape. We're at three hundred. Name of resulting CSV file. Hmm. Doesn't really matter. Just say result. Number of lines on your spread pre spreadsheet to process your bond. All of them, if empty. Yeah, all of them, if empty, is we're just trying to keep it as simple as possible. Um, now, what you want to do, this is where you have to use your brains. You want to go into Facebook, uh, log in, and you obviously, you want to find a group um, that's relevant to the client you're working with or the lead you're trying to generate. So for myself, let's say I'm a freelancer and I'm looking to um, connect with other freelancers or get gigs about that. Um, for that reason, I'm going to be going into freelancers. I'll just type in freelancer and the group. Hey, it's nice. Freelancer and the group. Um, and then Go ahead and join one. Mm. Uh, we want something freelance. There's a, I'm sure I belong to a group. Freelancers. Here we go. So here's a group I'm willing to scrape go into the group it's about oh well, that's an error what's this 
guys and a math and ball here. Yeah, so we want to grab this, your chosen group's URL. Grab it here, copy, go back to the Phantom Buster, and put it in right here. Column name, no, here, Facebook URL. Paste that in there. Mumbai Freelancer. Okay, uh, column name, Facebook group column. Group, wait, face group, Facebook. Group. Column, whatever, it doesn't really matter. And then hit save. Sorry, my big head's in the way here. You want to hit save here at the bottom. And uh, for this purpose, we're gonna just keep it simple. We're gonna be on manual, save. Uh, none, we're just keeping it simple now. It's a basic tutorial to get you started. started. All right, here we go now. I'm probably gonna have to block all this stuff out here for you guys. You know, a few people like hacking here. We want to hit launch. So what is going to happen now? It's going to scrape. I think we specified that there's 300 people. It's going to scrape their data from that particular group, which is quite valuable, right? Because it's a niche within. Like we know for certain, people joined that niche, the free well, whatever niche it was, being that group, and now we are able to culminate and actually divide them into a prospective client or prospective lead based on this exactly so i'm going to go launch it's running this might take quite a while error view log why container started can't connect to Facebook with these session cookies. Uh, I have to go back. Save, let's see what the hell was going on here. Let's try again. <laughs> Error. Why? So I don't know what happened there. I think Facebook actually kicked me out because they saw a third app trying to connect to it. It's weird. So I just log back in and I'll try again. Connect. Everything the same. Manually. None. Let's. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I think it seems to be working now. Connecting. Mm. Yeah, it seems to be working now. So, yeah, as I said there, if it gives you uh, issues in the beginning, go back to your Facebook tab, make sure you logged in and ensure that it hasn't logged you out because what Facebook just did now was it logged me out and asked me a whole bunch of security questions and asked me to confirm my identity with a text message um, and whatnot. So as you can see here, we have got the data and yep, it's gone. It's taken it all here. We can find our JSON file or our, our CSV file to download. Um, let's just jump in and download it. I hope no one sees me putting the info on YouTube. Uh, here we go. No, I don't want to. And here, as you can see, let me just move this over here. Here is a whole bunch of 
information from people within this group. Um, yeah, nothing too hectic. Obviously, we have their Facebook profiles. We can contact them on Facebook. We can hook this up to any chat now and initiate a automated conversation with these people. But now we have all their user details, essentially. Their name, first name, profile picture, not that. So nothing too fancy. I'll definitely be doing a tutorial on how we scrape these emails um, and take it from there. I do find that engaging with people on Facebook, depending on what business you, what line of business you're in, is normally better because you have that social, what's the word, social um, authority that you are, I'm Jay, a normal guy that's messaging you. Um, they obviously will not know that we have like a thousand other conversations going on that are all automated, trying to push people into their funnels. So yeah, that's for today. Um, if you enjoyed it, it's very basic, I know. I will be diving into more depth as um, time goes by. I am busy working on um, uh, SEO lead generation. Google My Business lead generation template. Um, this is basically what I use for my clients in order to ensure they get more leads and that. If you guys are interested, just drop me a message um, in the link below and I will get this to you. So just about done. So as you can see here, we've got the Google My Business. This is just essentially a checklist on how to get your site ranking at the top of your Google Google My Business category, Google Search Console, Google Analytics, little tweaks and things that need to be done in order to ensure your businesses are ranking at the top. Cool. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.